think? Evan, what do you think? <laughs> I'm, uh, I think Tree is going to win. Uh, I'm anticipating some excellent plays, and I'll tell you why after this first and round. And I think it's We're a 50-50. It's going to be a great phase. match. Take it away, guys. Oh, boy, here we go. You can definitely see that Ragdoll being pre-banned by Tree, and that Neft is being pre-banned by Rossa. Uh, interesting choice by Rossith here, taking out that Neftis, but completely makes sense. Artemel is actually not as good in this meta when there's a Lauren running around here. Tree taking out that Ragdoll, makes sense. Ragdoll is very oppressive right now. Tree doesn't want to face that. So far, standard picks Hathor into Vanessa Gany. Yep, correct. Gotta split that Gany Hathor. You're gonna see it all the time. No one's gonna let anybody have that combination. Correct, and here's where you're gonna see some deviation. Is it Fran, is it Daphnis? Very interesting choice here, but makes sense. That Daphnis Fran provides Ro Rossith with a lot of heals. Uh, and then Tree not hesitating, going with that Tiana Lauren. Yep. Very nice draft by Tree. Honestly, it shows a lot of control here. I like about all the attack bar manipulation that he does have. He has double defense breakers as well. And I think Tree's last pick is likely an Oki in the back of his mind here. Um, but at the same time, you know, Tree may also go with the second speed lead, but his Neftis is banned here. So it'll be interesting to see what he goes with. Ross is going with that Eleanor. Eleanor and Daph is being very scary in the Fire Lich. Quite oh, scary. And Tree showboating no, his LDs. No. Showboating and oh, Oberon. He's man. got so many tools in his toolbox. That's <laughs> not an OB that five, though, sir. So a little different. I think that's the end of Tree's monster pool there. Uh, but we'll see what he goes with. I think he was originally going with a maybe going with the Noki, but now goes with the Wusa, which is a great pick. I think that Daphnis is likely going to be the ban here. It's either Daphnis or Eleanor or Hathor, not Fran and not uh, and Taurus here. And we've seen the Wusa from Tree before. This is almost like a crutch pick for him as well. Right, but I also don't like Wusa and Tiana together because the two have dis-synergies. It's very awkward when you choose to shield up and when you choose to use Tiana's skill three. Tiana runs out of steam after a while. So interesting choice for Rossa to take out that Wusa, uh, but at the same time, uh, yeah, it's an interesting choice rather than exploiting some other avenue of Tree's draft. Yep, there you go. Daft is getting banned on Ross's time. Wusa getting banned on Tree's side. Let's see who's going to be taking first turn here. And it is definitely Tree with that Tiana. Going for the strip, boosting up attack bars here. Lauren looking to get first defense breaks and does reduce the attack bar on the friend as well. Seal of Magic coming out, dumping it on that Hathor, getting that additional turn on top. Yeah, and Tree needs to take out the heals from Rossith as soon as possible, and he needs to dodge the Antares procs and just despair stuns, and that's what Tree is praying for right now. Puts the glancing up. That was a smart decision to put that glancing oh! on double despair on the Ganymede, and Vanessa Vanessa is able to proc out. So giant, highly unlikely, unlucky to have that happen, but also big proc here. That's a giant of damage coming from that Tiana. We see another additional turn coming from that Antares. And that's a lot of damage coming from that Antares here. At the same time, Tree has a choice here. Does he want to take out Lower Trans Attack Bar, or does he go after Hathor, or does he go after Eleanor? Oh, goes after Eleanor. Does he get the Despair Stun of the Vanessa? Does not receive a Despair Stun at all. That is three procs from that Antares so far. Can we see a fourth? Got another proc coming from this Hathor as well, trying to share those attack breaks. Elano look at a boost up a unit, probably going to be that Fran trying to get some sustain on the field. He can either do that or Hathor, you can't go wrong either way here, chooses to go with the Fran. That boost makes Fran a very wide open target to get killed soon. Fran receiving just a little bit of damage. Tree really trying to eliminate that Fran. And I really think he should have thought about boosting up that Hathor and hoping to get a proc to sweep the team, because now Tree can poke that Fran to death right now. Ooh, does not get the kill. Third, 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 third kill's coming out! Sleeps to have any resistance on the side of the field. Does get that resist just with that wow. Lauren. That's a giant swing of events there. Not killing that friend is a big investment that. Ooh, big to spare some. In an oh. additional turn coming from Antares. That Antares has done so much work this game here. Drops that Lauren. Lauren does get revived back. And another oh. additional turn coming oh from Antares. God. This balanced unit getting all these additional turns as well. Looking to wake up that Ganymede. Tree oh. can see round one to the Rossus. And Tree's had enough of that Whoa. in Saw it proc five times and decided he did not oh. want to deal with it. Just draft the Antares. Just draft the Antares, guys. Great pick from Rossus. Antares doesn't care about glancing or anything else he got on the board. He really doesn't. And it just stuns two units. It stuns multiple units. It does so much damage. Took out that Lorne on its own with multiple procs it was over a great and over. It was honestly a great draft after that. I it actually thought it was a great draft, too. And, of course, as we've 
Well, as we predicted, it comes down to how often one unit procs or one unit resist. That Antares was crazy. That yeah. Antares was and nuts. Tree, uh, Tree was a great sport. You could see him laughing in his chair the whole yeah, time. He's he was laughing yeah. about it. Tree's always been a good sport. You see him throughout all the tournaments that he's been in here. He's been a fantastic sport, sport through every one of them. Exactly, but you're not going to see him take this lying down. I'm expecting that he's going to have to make some adjustments in the second one. Stoic, what do you think he's got to do? I think he's going to draft the Antares. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just steal it. That's the way to do it. I think Tree is going to go with more of the Neftis, Neftis route and look to control with the def defense breaks. At the same time, if I'm Rossith, I would not be surprised to see a Tiana pre-ban. Because you can't take out that Neftis, and Artemil's not as scary in this current meta. I think a Tiana pre-ban is not a bad idea from Rossith. Well, so I'll be we'll honest, with, with a little bit of experience having the unit myself, if Tree had drafted that out in the end there, could have helped him possibly get a Despair stun, stop that Antares in his tracks, possibly. That's Correct, true. absolutely, and every time a unit crits, Antares does turn around and smack it in the face. That's right. What are the what are the four things he got? You got a stunner, a bruiser, a healer, a stripper. He's that got a, a magic four. Here we go, guys. See Round the two. Eleanoa getting banned by Tree. Ross banning that Hathor. Makes a lot of sense that Eleanoa reducing cooldowns of everything, allowing that Hathor to come in and sleep his entire team. That Eleanoa clearly overpowered. It is an LD Nat 5. Very strong. Tree does not have it. Makes sense to ban that. Yep, Tree going to first pick that Ganymede. And we know Ross has a ragdoll in his back pocket. He will be taking it. It's what, what's interesting is the early Daphnis pick, and I do like that. That is a lot of aggression that Tree no longer has. That combination being drafted together, that's the second time that he's done that. He went Fran Daphnis showing double torrent. Double torrent, is he going to lock do it, it in? Do it. Wow, that is a very scary draft here. Tree was probably banking on auto banning Ragdoll, but if he does, he has a Leo to face. If I'm Tree, I'm going to change tracks and go with the Vertihile and go with something that deals with the Leo pretty well. But we'll see if he's thinking what I'm thinking here. But this is a pretty tough situation. You need to bring in slow units. Artemil's very good here. Likely Artemil banned Ragdoll, but I would like to see a Vert as well. But I think Rossith has so far a great draft. Ooh, Tree showing a little defensive unit here with this win. Druid, does he choose to lock it in? Takes back Ada and brings in the Triana. That's a very odd take back here. He's chosen to take the Triana for more survivability to counter the Daphnis. You know that Daphnis is not going to be banned here when he takes that Triana. I still think Ragdoll's the ban, but Leo and Taurus is so... Whoa! And we're going to see... No, I think Antares is great. I think he's showboating here. Does he's go with that wonderful unit, Antares. And Antares-Leo is such a dangerous combination. We know Ragdoll has to be the ban. It is so powerful here. Uh, but at the same time here, Tree... Just has a Tiana and a Terra needs to do damage, and I think that's going to get overpowered by this Antares. Tree does not have a good win condition against Antares. No, it does not. And will this Antares do what it did last game? It may not look good for Tree if it does. So here we go, guys. Leo obviously getting first turn here. Looking to push back the attack bar on the Tiana and does not. Tree needs to boost, needs to do damage and take out the Daphnis or control the Daphnis and kill the Antares at some point in time. But when this Antares gets going, it's a lot of damage. Tree needs to land a defense break from Tiana at some point in this game. Does go for it. Oh man, go see the deck bar dump on everybody. And of course, Antares getting double the spare stuns out there. Yeah, and of course, Tree is just going to wake his team up here and it's going to cap here and he's going to bear farm and start doing some damage. But that Antares, again, being slow is not a disadvantage when there's a Leo on the field. Now, Tree did go to reset the Fran. Daphnis has full skills right now. Exactly. Daphnis does have full skills, but does have to go after Triana. And at this level, usually Trianas are tanking enough to be able to withstand a Daphnis skill sweep. Ooh. Does get that defense break onto the Daphnis, though. That is actually quite big, and that Daphnis is definitely on Swift. So, Rossus will have to, unless this Fran procs, will be vulnerable. Yep, we can see that third skill coming out here. Does not get the strip at all. Doing, oh, that is definitely a very tanky Triana. Highly tanky, and this is Tree's avenue to win because Rothen does not have a reviver. Ooh. So much damage, but we see the additional turn coming from that Antares. But again, Antares not quite doing enough because of that defense buff on that Tiana. Down goes Daphnis. There it is, big second skill coming from Tiana. Yeah, and Tree here needs to now work on that Fran. It's going to be whatever that Tiana is able to land a defense break on is what Tree's going to go after. I think he's going to go after Fran, then take out the Antares. Yep, Ross is trying to work down that win. Druid, Tree showing he's trying to get a sustain back up. That we see another additional turn coming from this Antares. Yeah, this Triana is a great pick here, providing Tree with a lot of protection. And again, this Terrani is going back and forth. It's going to do lots of damage in that defense break. Tough for Ross to deal with. Yeah, Ross, he's holding on to that torrent, not choosing to use it. 
And every time the Tiana misses defense break, that is huge because that means that Fran is going to live. If once that defense break lands, that Fran is gone here. So Tree is just waiting for that moment. And again, very tanky with sustain here, going to be able to survive. Yeah, he's really trying to work down that Fran. Going for a big wild blow, dealing a ton of damage onto that Fran. We see this initial turn coming up. Where are the despair stuns going? They're everywhere. Triana Ganymede getting despair stunned by the Antares. Tiana getting despair stunned by the Antares. We see Leo trying to capitalize on some of the damage on the Tiana as well. That is a ton of damage going on to Tree side. And uh, another another additional turn trying to drop that Tiana. Tiana does proc the, proc the passive of Triana. Triana needs a vile proc. Does receive that vile proc, cleansing and healing that Tiana. That's a huge proc because it saved the life of Tiana. But again, that oh. passive is burned. Trees, Triana's passive oh, is burned. Oh, gets the additional turn as well to finish off that Tiana. Oh, the procs are with Rosslet this time. Another additional turn so there from goes, the Centaurus. There goes Tree's defense breaker. So that Tyranese is not going to be able to take out the Centaurus very easily, but no. does revive Tiana, but Tree needs to keep it alive. You can definitely tell this Centaurus is supported by Google Play. Definitely. Very strong Centaurus. It is a NAT6. Clearly has the support of Google Play here. And that to get a first Triana needs a proc, but it's not getting it. This Fran is going to go down right now. Oh, big damage going on to Fran. No more sustain on the team of Ross. Does lose his Tiana in the process. Yeah, and Tree needs to bide his time to be able to get that revive back up onto that Tiana so he has a defense breaker. So right now he's just biding time, waiting for that so he has a chance at an opening. Right oh, now. man, this is Tars procking so much. Despair stunning Ganymede as well. Oh, the wind drew it. Despair stunning that Leo. Getting additional turn with this Ganymede. Looking to revent on that Wind Druid. Wind Druid has skills up. Those are some big procs, and that's a lot, some good amount of attack bar he's taking. But once the Tiana gets revived, it needs to stay up. Tree should be timing this with the passes of Triana. They're all trying to focus that Wind Druid here. Can he get a sleep? No sleep coming from Triana. Needs a land of glancing here. Keep that damage back. See the additional turret pump from that Antares. Pops the passive of that Tiana. I'm does, sorry, the Triana. It does pop that passive, but it's a great situation to be in where now Tree has momentum. If he lands that defense break. Does oh. land that defense break. We're going to see some massive damage coming from this Wind Druid. Wild blows coming up. Stops that Leo. Wow, Tree with the great control here, able to juggle attack bars and cooldowns. And now it's four versus the Google Play Antares. There we go. Antares, we're going to just see how many turns this Antares could possibly take. Because I'll be honest with you, it ain't over till, it over till it's over. It's Ooh. definitely not, but that double sleep in a row is a huge bit of RNG. But again, that revive from that Wind Druid. It's going to be a lot of damage coming soon. Yeah, it definitely is a lot of damage coming soon. Looking to get more sustain back up onto his team. Going for a big second skill. Maybe I would have went for that defense break instead. But, but at the same time, glancing. it doesn't matter. Once he hits Wild Blow, that's it. There it is! Tree it takes round two from Rosslyn. Tree evens out the score. Both players are moving on to our final round. It's going to be match point. I can't tell if I'm sweating from these matches because it's just that hot in here. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great match, though. I have to say, Tree did an excellent job controlling the cooldowns of his Terranese, that Ganny, using that Tiana, landing those defense breaks, which is key. That does not happen often. I believe the rate is under 50% or under, and he hit a large majority of those, which allowed him to take down units. Had he missed those, he'd be sitting and waiting for another Tiana turn. I love that combo with the Wind Druid and Triana. I think that's a fantastic little thing that he figured out. Tree bringing an all-win team, showing that it's entirely viable. I actually kind of like him taking out the Artemio in favor of that Triana. And I would also say that Antares did not proc as many times as it did in the first match, which definitely made a big difference because Tree is able to then get his Triana passive up. That Triana did proc at very key times to heal and revive, heal and, and cleanse. Uh, the Tiana uh, definitely really helped a lot and bring that cool that passive back on cooldown a lot earlier. Now definitely. Stoic. And there wasn't like any of those additional turn units. Minus Vile Procs, oh, of course. Yeah. Antares was just yeah. going insane yeah. already. But here we go, guys. We're going into into round three between Thompson. Uh, Thompson, oh man, Tree Thompson and Ross. Later. <laughs> but this is exciting here. We have the same free bands as the first match, as expected. Both players don't want to play against the Neftis or Ragdoll, two very powerful monsters. Um, 
So it makes sense here. Ross is likely going to take the Hathor first, and Tree going to counter with the Vanessa Gany, as we saw in the opener. Yep, there's the Hathor being taken by Ross. <laughs> Tree! <laughs> Tree's styling. He's showing that showing the RNG. Oh, and the, the yeah. crowd is giving oh, him booze. Back. The, <laughs> the crowd does not like to see that. Tree actually opting for a Lauren over the Vanessa, because in the first match, he did play the Vanessa, but that didn't really do as much. And I think he prefers the control of Lauren and to take his, be very flexible with which speed leader he chooses to take. So it makes sense from both sides here. Ross is going with that Vanessa and likely a Daphnis coming out here. I'm curious if he's going to go and he's going to lean on the uh, Antares again for a third match. But Ross goes, he drafts his Vanessa, drafts his friend, showing he's got some sustain and nice backup from that Vanessa. So if he doesn't, if Ross doesn't take Daphnis, Tree should take Daphnis, does take that Daphnis. Wusa's a great pick here. Tree's Wusa is, I believe, on Violent, and it does do a lot of damage here. Very consistent unit. I would have loved to see a Verd from Tree at some point because it allows him to cycle turns onto a Vanessa. That doesn't really do a lot of burst. Fran just kind of sits there in comparison to a Verd uh, and, and with a ban on the Hathor. And if he does have that on Revenge as well, ooh, not drafting the Antares. Let's and see. I absolutely think Tree should take a Verd if he has a Verd. Does not go for it, but Verd really messes with Viva Chow because of how it messes the attack bar. Does not allow Viva Chow's skill 3 to go off. Instead, opts for the double immunity here. Tells me that perhaps the Viva Chow's the ban, or you could be looking at a, a ban on the Eleanor. It's either Viva Chow, Eleanor, or Hathor here. But again, Tree needs some way to disrupt the Viva Chow, the timing of the Viva Chow here. So we'll see what Tree decides. He could also choose to ban out the Vanessa, but he'd be facing resist lead from his Daphnis, and I don't think Tree wants to face that. Yeah, if, if, I, were, if I were Tree, yes. I'd say I was, I was going to ban out the, uh, the Viva Chill. It's that only thing that could really come in there and show something unexpected for him and, and you know, put a wrench and, in and things. And Hathor needs a Sleep of Fire unit or else Rossus loses Vanessa off the bat. So look to see if he's able to get it done. Well, let's find out. We see Hathor going first here. It's a big second skill. Who is it coming out on to? And Tree's Lauren is on Swift here. You see it's off will and moving very fast. Does not get the sleep, does get the additional turn. Third skill's coming out. Can he get the sleep on the Lauren and the Daphnis? Does not receive it onto the Lauren. Completely misses even the attack bar reset. So that's giant. This Lauren's gonna be able to strip and allow Gany to reset something. <gasps> does not receive the strip. Illinois resisted. Wow, highly, highly uh, unfortunate for both players here. Both huge resists. Definitely huge resist. Eleanor looking to do something. They're probably just going to poke at somebody. I don't think it needs to. Be, oh, it does. It's going for the Brutal Order to boost up that Hathor. And that Hathor is going to have third skill up in two more turns here. And does get the skill strip two. sleep this time. Yeah, and again, Tree's Wusa is not a cleanser. So Wusa's not a cleanser. Tree's going to have units left for a long time. Ooh, revenge. But we get the additional turn once again. Getting immunity back up, getting attack buffs up there as well. Yeah, and Lauren here does not have skill 2 anymore for a while. So Tree's Lauren's just going to sit here and do poke damage. That really doesn't do anything into immunity. Yep, Tree getting his immunity and shields up. Protect that Lauren just a little bit longer. Yeah, and Tree really needs a proc from the Gany a couple of times so he can reventilate that Wusa because this immunity from Rosseth is not going away anytime soon. Ooh, ton of damage. Does not drop that Lauren just yet in there. There it is. Rosseth does drop that Lauren. That is a huge Another additional turn. But, uh, but actually, that Daphnis does not get, go to sleep here. But at the same time, all this immunity is going to go away from Rossa's side before that Daphnis has a chance to attack. I think we're going to see that third skill going to Wusa, getting those shields and immunity back up. Possibly no. Goes for the glancing yeah. onto that Hathor. Tree's definitely going to ventilate that Wusa here. Needs to keep that protection going. But it's going to be interesting to see. He's saving that skill three for that Vanessa because he wants Daphnis to take out a, a different unit here. Yep, no so, defense break onto the Ganymede. We're yeah, no buffs on Rossus. Pushback side. here coming onto that Ganymede from this Fran. No buffs from Rossus means that that Daphnis is not going to be able to snipe Oof, a unit out. Another additional turn coming from Rossus. It's a ton of additional turns here. That's the tree frame, but on Rossus' side here. So Hathor putting this Gany down permanently for two turns, basically. Ganymede does resist it, which is huge, but there's no buffs on Rossus' side of the team. Goes for Overwhelm to get those reset cooldowns. And actually, Tree's in a decent spot here. He is going to go after the Vanessa now, or he can choose to reset with the Gany and then go after the Fran. We'll see which after attack he chooses, but I think Tree's in an okay spot. I don't know, it's getting real scary with that Daphnis getting so low. So many additional turns coming from Rossa. Tree's got momentum on his side, though. He has three units that are going to take turns here. I think Tree's going to need to make a choice here. Does he want to save that or just go straight for the Vanessa right now? Tree has no sustain to keep that Daphnis up. He's got to protect it somehow. 
Yeah, and Trees here probably going to reset either the Hathor or the Fran here. Goes after the Elanoa. Interesting. Does not get the bar reset on the Elanoa, though. And the oh, Elanoa does a lot of second skill does not kill. Gets another additional turn. That's a giant proc there because that's a ton of damage going on to the Daphnis. And there goes Daphnis with another additional turn. Oh, man. More sustains up for Rosslyn. He's still trying to take out that Vanessa. I'm not sure that Vile Proc's going to do much. He does drop the Vanessa here. Got that defense break with the Eleanoa. Goes to put that Wusa asleep. Going to be focusing down that Ganymede. Yeah. Another additional turn on top of this. Misses the strip onto the Ganymede. And Tree's sitting back in his chair. He knows he's in a rough spot. It's pretty over. That Eleanoa does a ton of damage. That Wusa did not really do anything this game here. Might not have been the oh, right choice. Another additional turn. That's it. Tree had enough. Tree had enough. Rosslyn takes that round. The crowd loves him. Rosslyn with the 2-1 against Tree. There goes another favorite to win the tournament. That is, this day is full of upsets. The crowd favorite has won. The crowd is chanting right now. They are on their feet. They are thrilled. They're happy with this. And what a game, guys. What, what a game. What a game indeed. Francis brings it to 22%. And that Eleanor doing so much damage there. Once that defense break.